Hey guys, Nagraj here from Tech Week. Today I'm back with another video and in this video we're gonna see the working of ultrasonic sensors and how to use one. Ultrasonic sensors are those sensors which use ultrasonic waves to detect object or to measure the distance between itself and the object. So what are ultrasonic waves? Ultrasonic waves are those waves whose frequencies are beyond uh, the normal hearing limit. Uh, it will be more than 20 kilohertz. Usually ultrasonic sensors will have two transducers, one for transmitter and one for receiver. The working principle is quite simple. This is the transmitter and this is the receiver. The transmitter emits ultrasonic waves at a frequency of 40 kilohertz. And these waves travel through the air and when they are blocked by an object they get reflected these waves will get reflected and they are bounced back to the sensor these reflected waves are absorbed by the receiver of the sensor so the total time taken by the ultrasonic waves to travel from the transmitter of the sensor to the object and again from object to the receiver is given by the output of the sensor. The distance between this object and the sensor is calculated by using a simple formula which we all know that is speed is equal to distance traveled by time taken. So distance is given by speed into time. We know the speed of the ultrasonic waves in air that is speed is 340 meter per second and the time taken is given by the sensor so the product of this gives the distance between the sensor and the object the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor has also got two transducers one for the transmitter and one for the receiver it has got four pins as you can see here the first pin is the VCC pin this pin is used to power on the ultrasonic sensor. This pin is usually given with 5 volts. The current consumed by this sensor is less than 15 milliamps, so it can be powered easily with the onboard power supply that you find in Arduino and Raspberry Pi boards. The fourth pin is the ground pin, which you have to connect to the Arduino or Raspberry Pi ground. The second pin is the trigger pin, it is the input to the sensor. You have to give a short 10 microsecond pulse to this pin to start the ranging. After this, the module emits ultrasonic waves in bursts of 8 cycle at a frequency of 40,000 Hz. At the same time, the module makes the echo pin, which is the third pin, high. Once the waves are reflected by the object and are absorbed by the receiver, this echo pin goes low. In other words, the duration of time during which the echo pin stays high is equal to the total time taken by the ultrasonic waves to travel from the transmitter to the object and again from object to the receiver. The echo pin stays high during wave propagation. The output of this echo pin will be equal to the time taken by the ultrasonic waves to travel from the transmitter to the object and from object to the receiver. So to calculate the actual distance between the sensor and the object, we have to divide this product by 2 because the same path, the same path will be traveled by the ultrasonic waves twice. So to calculate the actual distance, we are dividing this by 2. The output of this echo pin is the time duration in microseconds. So we have to convert the speed which is in seconds to microseconds. The speed is equal to 340 meter per second, which is 340 into 10 to the power of 2 centimeter per second, which is equal to 0 0.0340 into 10 to the power of 6 centimeter per second, which is equal to 0 0.0340 centimeter per microseconds. Now the distance is calculated by the product of speed and time. Both are in microseconds and it is divided by 2. 
So this gives the distance between the sensor and the object. Another important thing about this sensor is the range. The range of this sensor is 2 centimeter to 400 centimeter which is really good for many applications. These ultrasonic sensors are used in many applications such as robotics including obstacle avoider robots, pathfinding robots. It can also be used to calculate the depth of wells since the ultrasonic waves can penetrate through water. Another thing which I forgot to mention is the generation of the ultrasonic waves in this sensor. There will be a vibrator which is oscillating at very high frequencies and these oscillations gave rise to ultrasonic waves. So if you want to know more about how these ultrasonic waves are produced, I have attached a document in the description, you can go through that. So that's it about this video. I hope you guys have liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.